<clears throat> if you haven't noticed yet, I strongly suggest that you go check out Gluteus Illuminatus because um, he has found somebody he really likes and who really likes him, South Dakota Girl 30. The two of them are really getting on like a house on fire and um, they seem to be enjoying each other's company and it looks like this might be developing into something a bit more than just a YouTube friendship. So I'm delighted for both of you and you know I wish you all the best in the future. I hope this turns into something big and beautiful and wonderful and permanent. So good luck to you and um, here's to hearing a lot more from both of you working together and uh, showing us that you're going places. So that's the first thing. The important other thing is, and a bit more serious now, don't let the naysayers get to you. Because there will be people telling you that internet relations don't work. Well, there are plenty of examples on this site alone of internet relations that have worked, relationships that have worked and that are still working. There are also people who will tell you that it will never work because Gluteus is an atheist and South Dakota girl is a, a Christian. Well, you're looking at somebody who has already been married for 16 years as an atheist to a Christian and um, there's plenty of hope that that will last another good few decades before either of us kicks the bucket. So again, don't let anybody tell you that it can't be done or that it shouldn't be done. And that brings me to this troll that both of you are dealing with. Now I've already mentioned this to Gluteus, but I thought this is important enough to make a video about. Do not allow a troll to divert your energy from each other at the moment. What you are building here, what you are creating here between the two of you is more important than what any of these trolls could ever say to you. And I am worried about how within certain groups here on YouTube there seems to be this ethos of how you shouldn't be censoring people and how you cannot be seen to be stifling freedom of speech by blocking people and stuff like this. This is a person who is stalking one of you, if not both of you, and who is interfering in business that is none of theirs. That is interfering in your relationship. And what business is that of theirs? None. So, don't let them and if necessary, block them, delete their comments, and kick them out of your channel whenever they rear their ugly heads until they get the message. Now, Gluteus also told me that he didn't care what he what this person said about him. That's fair enough. But, you know, he was attacking his girl and he couldn't let him get away with that. And that's understandable. That is perfectly understandable. I can well see why you're saying that and where you're coming from. But in the end, entering into a fight with somebody like that is a battle that you cannot win. Because this person is an anonymous, faceless, yellow lily livered troll. And you cannot pwn, for example, a yellow lily livered, faceless, anonymous troll. Or tear them a new sphincter or anything like that. You cannot win against a troll because they have nothing to lose. They have no dignity to lose. They have no reputation to worry about. Nothing. All they are interested in is getting you worked up. And no matter how clever your responses to them are going to be, no matter how much you are going to humiliate them, they still will consider themselves as having won for the simple reason that they've raised you, that they've got a rise out of you, that they've managed to get you emotionally involved in any way whatsoever. And that is important because that emotion that you would be spending on fighting this fight with this troll would be much better spent 
on building what you've got between each other at the moment. Much better spent. And, you know, you only need to look at recent history on YouTube to see how diverting your emotional energy and spending it completely on a pointless drama battle can turn you into somebody who will have lost their appetite for this site, who have lost their gumption, who have lost their interest in what is going on here, and who no longer has the energy to participate here. I've seen it happen in the last few weeks, and you probably know the people I'm talking about. And for what? For pointless drama that nobody was actually interested in, but that each of the parties involved had to win regardless what. Has anybody won? I only see losers in that particular case. And I'm worried that if you decide to engage this troll head-on, that rather than spending the energy on your relationship, you will be wasting it on this person. And nothing is worth that. So that is why I felt I needed to make this video, because I think it is more important what I needed to say than just what I could say in the 500 characters of one comment. I know you feel inclined. I know it is a natural reaction to hit back at somebody like that. But it's not worth it. And your relationship is.